From owning a bunch of custom-made yachts to having the wealth to design his very own mansion, Tiger Woods made good use of the fortune he got by ruling over the golfing world. He recently became a billionaire, and he's not afraid to show it. Here's how Tiger Woods spends his money. I mean, he may be a billionaire, but it's not been easy for him to get here. His golfing career looks to be over, but it's been a long and impressive journey with several highs and lows. Ever since Woods has gone pro, he's made about, brace yourselves, a whopping $1.4 billion. Yes, you heard me right, billion with a capital B. Can you imagine the number of zeros dancing around in his bank account? It's even more impressive to think about when you get to know that it's taken him only three decades. Talk about being a golfing money-making machine. And out of the $1.4 billion, Woods has earned around $122 million by just winning golf tournaments. Let that sink in for a moment. This guy dominated the golfing world and raked in millions just by being the best at what he does. This figure alone lets him top the money list. And trust me when I say there are no close competitors on the list. Let's take a trip down memory lane to the Tour Championship in 2018, where Tiger Woods pulled off an incredible feat. Not only did he conquer the competition, but he also walked away with his biggest payout ever. I'm talking about a total of 4.6 million bucks. If you thought these numbers were impressive, you're in for a treat. So fasten your seatbelts and get ready to be amazed. Tiger Woods' main payout doesn't come from his performances on the field. He earns way more off of it. At his peak, Woods was earning crazy amounts of money. I'm talking about 100 million annually. The money train didn't stop as the years went by. In 2020, he earned around 60 million just through endorsements. Looking at these figures, it's no surprise that the king of golf is a billionaire. It hasn't always been this good for Tiger. In 2009, Woods went through several scandals, and in the process, he lost a lot of his sponsorships. He was never left alone, though. His knight in shining armor was none other than Nike itself. Nike sided with Woods throughout, and in 2013, he signed a massive that saw him earn up to 200 million. By the age of 46, Woods had earned enough to spend the rest of his life in luxury. But money wasn't everything for the golfer. He was offered a contract that would help him earn an insane nine-digit check by Saudi Arabia. All he had to do was just play on their circuit, live golf. That said, he denied the offer because he had no reason to play for the money. Now, with these impressive numbers, it's no surprise that Woods lives his life lavishly. After all, He's a money-making machine with a supply to last his entire life. And when you have that much money, owning a couple of yachts is a must. These aren't your ordinary boats. I'm talking about high-end vessels that redefine the meaning of luxury. First up is none other than Wood's priceless possession, privacy. Picture this. A magnificent 48-meter-long yacht that has absolutely everything you could ever dream of. Just maintaining this majestic ship costs a whopping $2 million a year. Can you imagine the kind of luxury you'd experience aboard this floating paradise? Ever since Woods bought privacy, he's shown it off at several golfing competitions such as the PGA Championship. But hey, when you own something as extraordinary as this yacht, you can't blame the man for wanting to show it off. Privacy has five rooms and three entire floors. Fancy a relaxing dip in the jacuzzi? No problem. Feel like going scuba diving to explore the depths of the ocean? The ship has got you covered. Want to kick back and catch a movie? Just head over to the onboard cinema. This yacht is a floating paradise and truly lives up to its staggering 20 mil price tag. But privacy is not an only child. Around 2010, when things were a bit shaky for Tiger, he went out and purchased Solitude. Talk about an interesting choice of names for a boat, right? Solitude was built for just one reason. To make amends with his wife. And how did he do that? Tiger had an entire yacht custom made for his wife to enjoy dive fishing. It's a tad bit ridiculous, but hey, when you're a billionaire, why not, right? Woods didn't just enjoy his time on the water, he made sure to treat himself while he was in the air, too. Woods has a large fortune, and he's definitely going to spend it on some crazy things. Now, one of the crown jewels in Tiger's collection is the magnificent Gulfstream 550. This flying marvel is not just your average aircraft. It's like a floating hotel room. The Golf King bought the plane for about $54 million, and it features a bedroom, dining area, large bathrooms, and even a walk-in closet. This incredible plane can also comfortably accommodate up to 18 lucky individuals. Now, let me paint a picture for you. Imagine you're in Tiger's shoes, soaring high above the rest of the world in this luxurious aircraft. Suddenly, you receive an urgent call, demanding your attention to a crucial job. In a typical scenario, you'd be stuck 
and unable to do anything about it. But my friends, I'm not talking about normal here. In Tiger's luxurious plane, you can simply use the onboard internet to do any urgent work. I don't know about you, but this is the kind of high-flying lifestyle that dreams are made of. Tiger Woods sure knows how to make his fortune work for him, and boy, does he do it in style. No billionaire's fancy collection is complete without some supercars. Let me tell you, folks, when it comes to Tiger Woods and his taste in cars, he knows how to roll in style like a true billionaire. I'm talking about a lineup of cars that would make any enthusiast drool with envy. Buicks, Mercedes-Benz, Porsches, you name them, and Tiger's got them. As a billionaire, he knows the thrill of owning something that others can only dream of. That's why he is one of the lucky 2,100 individuals in the world to possess the Mercedes-Benz SLR McLaren Edition. This car is the epitome of luxury, and let me tell you, every single one of those 2,100 versions is unique, making it an absolute masterpiece for Woods. But that's not all. Tiger even owned a Porsche Carrera GT. Now this is one of the fastest cars ever made, and it certainly fits its price tag of about half a million dollars. As a specialist in slow sports like golf, adjusting to the lightning-fast life of a supercar proved to be quite the challenge for Woods. During a test drive, things took a bit of a spin when Tiger lost control and found himself off-roading into the grass. And just like that, his story with the supercar came to an abrupt end. It seems the Carrera GT was just a little too much to handle for the golfing maestro. The lavish spending doesn't end with cars, though. I mean, how can I not mention his houses? After all, his Jupiter Island estate is, to this day, his most expensive purchase. And let me tell you, when I first laid eyes on this place, I was absolutely blown away. Folks, I'm not talking about your run-of-the-mill house here. Oh no, Tiger spared no expense when he dropped a jaw-dropping 55 million on this property and it is one that best describes the king of golf. When Woods purchased around 50,000 square meters of land, it's clear that he had one idea in his head. He was looking to build his own heaven, and that's exactly what he did. The mansion looks pretty normal as long as you ignore the golf course that's spread over 14,000 square meters. Every athlete needs a place to practice and hone their skills, and Tiger decided to bring the practice ground straight to his doorstep. This estate isn't just about golf. Oh no, my friends. Tiger ensured that he had all the things a billionaire could dream of. From several pools to a tennis area, and even a private dock, this place has it all. If you thought that was all there was to the house, then you really underestimate billionaires. The mansion even has its very own cinema and a private wine cellar. Tiger's appetite for luxury didn't end there. Just a year later, he went on to purchase not one, but two additional properties near his mansion. It's clear that when it comes to living the high life, Tiger Woods doesn't settle for anything less than the best. So from his very own self-made heaven to several luxurious yachts, those were just some of the ways Tiger Woods spent his money after becoming a billionaire.